Alrighty, what is going on you guys? My name is Pokey Dragon. Welcome back to another video. Now in this video today, we are going to Carolina Club Exotics. Actually, there are so many events happening today, I couldn't decide which one I'm going to. I know one of my buddies named Gunter, he's going to, um, I believe, a Cars and Coffee that's closer to my house. But, here's the also funny thing about that. Lord Vader and the Titan Life are heading to Cars and Coffee in Greensboro. That one is an amazing Cars and Coffee show. I couldn't decide which one I'm going to, but I'm going to stick with my guts, and hopefully I'm not wrong, but if I am wrong, I'm a haul tail back to Cars and Coffee in Greensboro. Hopefully I'm not wrong, but I don't think I am. But anyways, oh, by the way, Gunter, if you're watching this video, what event did a red Bugatti come to? If it's coming to Carolina Club Exotics, I am all for that, but if it's going to another event, please search some pictures, because I want to put it like right here in the video in fact maybe like right here because i really want to see this red bugatti anyway enough talking let's start up dragon slayer 2.0 and let's get some heat in the engine and let's head up to cars and coffee in greensboro i mean <laughs> carolina club exotics i do apologize <laughs> Later on, I'm going to put the Pokey Drago license plate on my car. And somebody just started up a Rari. We got a, I can't tell what is that right there. I believe it is a 458 Italia. Nice. Now let's see what happens when we come over here. Because while I was pulling in, we had a Mustang squad that was really strong. They came in really deep. Check it out. Now here's something you guys wouldn't believe I like. The lights on, on the door Mustangs like that. Love them, love them. That's one impressive Civic right there. Holy moly. And it wouldn't, I don't know if it'd be a hell of a deal to fit it in there. Jesus. Well, that is, well, that is what a yeah, huge Prius. mother effing turbo. That is a little big for the application, it's a B18. A, you said a B18? B18, B1, non B-Tech. So you, got, so you got rid of the whole meme out of your car. So now it really does have some <laughs> oof into it. <laughs> it does. I'm only running 10 pounds right now. I'm kind of a savage. I got stock head studs right now. I got to put the ARPs in. All right. <clears throat> is it, I mean, what's the next thing after you know you put the heads in? Um, I need to put a, uh, the, the head studs in. Mm -hmm. um, I plan on doing a full exhaust system. I've got a K-tuned muffler, vibrant resonator. I'm gonna do three inch all the way back, but I gotta, I gotta do some custom fabricating. I gotta cut some of this out and move my radiator forward okay. so that we can get a three inch downpipe down there, yeah. Not bad. I see Lamborghinis. Whoa! Yo, what is happening? Yeah, this is... This is good sounding. That is good sounding. That horse is good sounding. But that Ferrari 458 Italia, it's really good as well. Holy moly. We got Alfa Romeo right here. Here's something that I really like. Lamborghini Gallardo Super Leggera. And it's pretty awesome to say the least. This thing is pretty cool. Epic. I absolutely love this GT350R. This thing looks so epic. And the best part about it is that this is funny enough, my favorite Mustang that they have so far created. Now, obviously, there's a new GT500, and 
obviously I, you guys will probably expect me to say, oh, that's my favorite. No, this is my favorite for one reason. The sound that this thing makes is absolutely amazing. Now, I don't know about the GT500, but I highly doubt it's gonna be as good as this. This right here is so good and so insane. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. This thing is absolutely amazing. And check out what's right beside it. You know, just your typical Dodge Demon. Just lurking right there. Dodge Demon. GT350R. Looks epic. Both of them. Now, if you guys were to ask me which one I would take home with me. Ooh, that's actually be a hard one because both cars are amazing. I just don't know which one I would pick. Honestly, I'll probably pick the GT350R just because I would love hearing that thing start up and just me downshifting it all the time. This will be epic. You guys might be wondering why I'm running. Well, yeah. Funny enough, this exact Aventador was actually at Mooresville Cars and Coffee um, a couple of Sundays ago. So there you guys go. That's good. That's pretty cool. This sounds so good with the continuous power of the V12. And this time I'm not going to say it. it's a roadster. What I'm going to say is that it's uh, one of those ones where you can take the top off. Because that's what you can do with this car. You can actually take the top off. Wait for it. Doors up. So, along with the Ferrari that's already in the back, we got one classic Ferrari, two classic Ferraris, and we got a third one right there. Right beside the 458 Italia, which is awesome. We got three classic Ferraris right here. Three gorgeous examples of well taken care of classic Ferraris. This one being a 328 GTS. Yeah, buddy. Check it out. Okay, I was not paying attention. Apparently Rob is here. I didn't notice he came in. This man literally popped underneath the radar. I'm a little upset about this. What? Are you serious? Look at this right here, you guys. I always loved me a good old BMW 2 Series. And I believe this is an M235i as well. Nice. Ergon Spider. All, all of these cars showing up are gonna be excellent for slow mode. In fact, I might even do fast modes because there's so many awesome cars here today. So, Alex showed up, and now we got two M2s right beside each other. In fact, I'm gonna hit a slow mo on both the M2s, and I want you guys to vote in the comment section. Which one do you guys like more? Do you guys more of a, like more of a stock version of an M2 or more on the modified side? Ready? Three, two, one, boom. So, Super Legera versus Lamborghini Aventador. Which one you guys like more? Aventador V12, V10, but way more rare. 